What up, y'all? It's T-Biz here once again. And yeah, we got some G.I. Joe Classified Series to check out. This is a Cobra Arctic Bat. Good old Ant Bat Androids. But this is uh, going to be pretty cool because it's a, a new little twist. You've got uh, like a robotic Cyclops head that have been added to it. A cool uh, gigantic sniper rifle looking thing. And um, amongst other parts. And I believe um, a chainsaw piece, which... I remember Gridiron Toys made a custom chainsaw arm attachment, but I never did anything with it. I never did any videos on their stuff, I don't think. And it's just sitting around in the other room next to all my other Joes. But um, but I guess, you know, Hasbro was looking out at all these customizers and people that make custom weapons and figured, shit, we'll just go ahead and do our own. And they did, and that's smart. Anyways, um, yeah, look at the package. It's pretty cool. Got a, it looks like the Rattler in the background all crashed on, you know, the snow. Snowbank Snowdrift. Once again, you got a QR code that really doesn't do much, but take it back to Hasbro to go get more stuff, which I mean makes sense. And um, now look at the back of the figure. And uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and rip these guys open and check them out. Alrighty, folks, and here are both of our bats. They come completely different, man, than the regular bats. Uh, they come with the, the cyborg Cyclops head, which is pretty cool. I actually like this head, it's pretty neat looking. It's not bad at all. They got these different pauldrons that are kind of cool. That are wrapped around the bicep. Got a different belt with like a little fanny pack up front. And these other little uh, like thigh pad thingies with the holster on one. Other than that, it's pretty much a bat. And then you got the blue right there with all the circuitry and stuff like that. And motherboard or whatever you want to call it. But it is pretty cool. He's got a regular bat head right there in the back or maybe this is just a mask and then you can have them like mask less with just the regular helmet or whatever arctic polarized that's cool man i like the color that got kind of mother of pearl onyx looking whatever paint job they did that's pretty badass and um there's your sniper gun sniper rifle I feel like we've already got this rifle with somebody before. Was it um, was it Roadblock or Rock and Roll? Wait, we haven't gotten Rock and Roll yet, but yeah, maybe Roadblock. I don't know. Or no, was it Zartan? I think we got this gun with Zartan originally, I think. And we got a silencer that goes with that, I believe. We can put a silencer on it. A pistol. So we got a pistol, which I believe is the same one that came with the original bat. And then we got two chest plates, one damaged, which is cool, and one that's not, which is the Cobra emblem. We got our backpack to put accessories, got the chainsaw accessory, and that's pretty much it. And then this thing, which is like maybe another chest piece. It's like an armored chest piece. That's cool. That's badass. So you can, you've got like a lot of different options. So if you bought like three or four of these, all your guys could look totally different, which is pretty badass. Well, we're going to go ahead and suit up uh, one of these guys and just leave the other with his stuff on, or we're just going to see what we can do. I got to say, these Arctic bats are pretty dope, and you're going to want more than just two or one because you can mix and match so many freaking pieces. I would see myself having four, and then if I think with four, you can really have a decent, varied team as far as the look goes for these bats. Um, on this one, yeah, I put the... Regular old school head with the polarized Arctic thing on it, label on it. It's got the chainsaw on the hand. One thing that's bad about the chainsaw, it fits very loosely in there. It doesn't even stay really well. And it fits very loosely in here and the peg won't go all the way down to the hole because it's too small. Um, I put the battle damaged chest plate on, which looks rad. We got the chainsaw going and kicking. Um, other than that, yeah, it's a really badass version of the bat. I like it a lot. Really freaking cool. On this version, we put the chest armor looks like he's got a bunch of like c4 pouches or something attached to him the rifles do come a little warped so you probably have to heat those up and tinker with them a little bit and um put the chainsaw attachment in there but you can see the peg doesn't even go in the hole and if you attach it there it's just going to flop out because my mine flops out yours might not mine do so it's just uh figured it's not even worth it i've got the cyborg head on there the cyclops head i think it's badass the detail is amazing really nice they did a, this is a good update for the bat it's really cool really cool got the silencer on the the rifle but uh other than that man yeah they're pretty badass dude really decent versions of the of the good old bat man, yeah these are nice they'll definitely fit in well with the snow serpents once you get those guys 
And if you get snow job later on, that's going to be awesome. And hopefully he put up, the, was it the snow cat or whatever? I can't remember his little vehicle, his little uh, sled thing that he drove or whatever back in the day. I had it back in the day, but I can't remember. But um, other than that, yeah, it's, it's pretty sick. Sick little two, uh, two figures, man. I mean, it's one figure, but if you get, you know, more than one or whatever, you can, like, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with them. Anyways, that's it for look at the Arctic Bats. It sounds like a name for a really crappy alternative band, but whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. All. Have a good one. All right, later.